Hello everyone and welcome to The Art of Teaching Art. Today I'm going to show you five easy watercolour background ideas using things from around your home. So we've got a few different techniques here. I've got my watercolours, I've got a piece of clean film, I've got some salt and I've got a large square brush. So I'm going to complete five little samples for you and show you some examples. So the first one we are going to do is a clean film wash. So these are examples of washes of colour where clean film has been added afterwards. So you do a simple wash of colour and then add the clean film on top, leave it to dry and when you take the clean film off this is what you get at the end. So let me show you. Choosing a colour, I'm going to go quite vibrant with the colour because it stands out better. So I'm going to go with the dark blue. So I'm going to generate the colour in the blue with the brush. So quite a bit of water so I can cover my whole piece. And then you just sweep the colour across your piece of paper. You could add layers of other colours and things if you wanted to. I'm trying to make it so it's quite vibrant. That gives more for the clean film to kind of mix with. Now you need to do this fairly quickly and then you can scrumple up your clean film and just press it down onto the top there. I'm just going to put, move that to the side and let it dry. So the next one is using watercolour with salt. Now if I just zoom in you will be able to see some of the texture created. Now this can be a more subtle technique depending on what salt you use with it. Now this again a wash of colour, you sprinkle salt on top and you leave it to dry and then the salt sucks up the colour from around it and you brush it off afterwards. So let me show you how to do it. Now I use a different colour this time, let's go for a pink or a purple probably because there's still blue on the brush so that's fine we'll go with that. So I'm going to do just a sweep across. You do want the colour to be quite vibrant and obviously you can link this to any project. You could do subtler colours if you wanted to. It's up to you to kind of think oh, what will work. I actually quite like that with that little bit of white left in the middle so I might leave it like that. I've got my salt and I'm just going to place a little bit of salt on top and hopefully the areas where the watercolour is wet the salt will soak that up and I'll just pop that one to the side so we can see what happens in a bit. The next technique is just the basic watercolour wash so you could think about doing that in a section of the page. I've used it here to monoprint on top of so we've got many different colours and ideas even some gradients here as well. Uh, you could fill the whole of the piece and it just gives a slightly softer look to the page before you draw on top of it. And there's a few other examples here of different colours around the edges as well. So this one's fairly simple. So you're just using your square edged brush is the easiest one because it doesn't leave as many brush marks. I'm just going to squeeze off the extra water and I am going to go for a subtler colour this time with the yellow ochre. really like this as a base for drawings. And then with the yellow ochre you just sweep it across, first of all, softly with the brush, so you're not looking to press too hard. And then if you want to just dull it down a little bit, add a little bit more water. So that's your basic wash across the page. If you want to add a little bit more texture, you can add some layers. So I would suggest if you're going for a kind of natural look to add a little bit of brown, you can just wash it on in certain areas. Maybe use a rounded brush to add areas in. You can add water over the top to just blend it in as well. So quite a nice effect, quite simple to just create a slightly different type of background. And you could even look at an image and get some actual features in and then work on top of that with your drawing as well. The next one 
we've got is just using creating kind of a mono print type thing so what you want to do is create a watercolor base on your table or on a piece of acrylic or something like that and then you press the paper into it so i'm just going to create a piece i'll use what i've got here with the watercolor on the table so you're going to get these really lovely marks in it as well which i think work really well and they kind of spread out across the paper so it's really nice kind of free way of kind of doing things so i think that that's going to work you can get your piece of paper and just pop it down just rub your hand over it to just make sure it's flattened across the whole of the piece and you get this really lovely textural marks like this i think that's just a really lovely piece to work over you could use that for collage you could paint over it using some of the marks to create your lines as well so really lovely technique for this last technique i'm going to be using wax resist so i've got a white crayola wax crayon here you can do this with oil pastel as well and you might want to think about what kind of drawing you're putting on the piece here i'm going to go with just some pattern lines but i am only going to press lightly with this if the harder you press the more wax obviously goes onto the page the more obvious it's going to be if you are using this technique you're going to have to think carefully about what you're drawing over it so you could use oil pastels over it you could use pencil over it but if you're going to use like fine line or a pen is going to be a little trickier because the fine liner just won't interact with the wax so i'm just going to go with some just soft overlapping lines i think to create a texture just pressing quite softly i know you probably can't see so it might be that you've got a landscape that you can work from to create a background or you want a kind of shadow image of your still life potentially i will do a more intense area in the corner here just kind of experimenting with some different things really worth experimenting with this and then you can choose your color to go over the top so i'm trying to think i'll go with an orange again I don't always go with an orange but so I'm just going to sweep that across so you can see where I've added the wax crayon. It's left that exposed, which is quite nice in terms of creating texture. Now this only does it for kind of a limited time, it doesn't work forever. But where I've done it quite softly, you can see the texture is a little bit softer with it. So I think that's going to be really interesting to then work on top of as well. So I've tried to do slightly more painterly marks to create the texture there. And then there is your fifth technique. I don't think that these will be quite ready yet, but you can see how the salt is starting to suck up that watercolour here. That's going to be a really lovely piece, I think, when it's done. And the same with this one. You know, once I take this... Oh, I might actually be able to. Let's reveal it. Ooh, ooh look at that. So look at all of these marks so you could draw on top of them you could add a drawing in so that's a really lovely technique i love how free that is you don't really know what the outcome is going to be too much so a really lovely range of watercolor backgrounds thank you so much for watching and have a really great day